Hey guys, my name is Max, and uh, today we're going to be tying the RS3. Um, in the vise, I got a 2488H. Um, it's a size 16 uh, with like a pearlescent um, bead on there, um, roughly 330 seconds, you know, like 2.5 mil bead. For my thread, I'm going to start off with some Ultra Thread 70 in the blue done. Start my thread wraps, back off the bead, and work my way down the shank here. Snip out my thread. So again, making some counterclockwise spins to lay that flood, or thread down flat. Work past the barb, and back up. So the RS3 uh, is a little pattern I decided to come up with. Uh, you know, it's a variation of the RS2 uh, by Rim Chung. Um, you got Pat Dorsey who ties it, the Mercury RS2 with the glass bead. Uh, so it's kind of a combination of both of those. I add a little more flash to it. Um, I like this fly um, in the afternoons, especially pretty much anywhere in Colorado. Um, I tie it with a slim profile so that um, I can get away with the bigger sizes. Um, tie it in like a 16 kind of at the biggest, um, but an 18, 20 is kind of the sweet spot. Um, I think just when you tie a slim fly like that, uh, you can get away with tying in a little bit bigger size. Uh, 2488 and an 18 um, is going to be very similar size wise to the, the 16. Um, so, take a little bit of a crystal flash here in the pearl, and I'm going to tie that in as my tail, try and get it to stay right on top of the shank, and work my way down to about the barb, and then I'll cover up the remaining flash in there. Make a little thread body and build a little bit of a taper. Flatten my thread out again. Next, take a piece of uh, flashback here. Tie that in right on top of the hook shank. Make sure it's not angled when I tie it in. I want it to be right on top so that when you make that wing, that wing case with your UV, it's nice and even right over the floor of fiber. Work that back. So, got that right on top. So the standard RS2, you know, in its many variations, has just a small wing on the on the top side of the fly. Um, so with the fluorofiber, split it and put it on both sides. Uh, you know, it really encompasses that uh, emerging insect. Um, so this mayfly imitation, you know, fish any time of the year, uh, especially in Colorado, you know resembles a lot of different insects. Um, I kind of like the gray, gray dun color, um, tied in olive, tied in black. So once I tie in my flora fiber, make sure everything's trimmed up. Take a little bit of super fine dubbing in gray and dub a little noodle on there. Start right up against my flora fiber. Build a little thorax, 
and stop right behind my bead. Take my fluorofiber, fold that over right behind my bead, make two securing wraps, and then I'm going to divide fluorofibers kind of equally in half. Fold them back. Make a couple more wraps right behind the bead. Make a little collar, kind of keep those four fibers back. And then take my piece of flash and fold it right behind the bead. Snip out a piece of flash. So I leave my pieces of fluorofiber long so that when I put the UV on there, it doesn't get caught up in, uh, in my wings essentially. with finish, building a little collar there, snip out my thread, I'll take my Loon UV and thick and kind of make sure that there's no straggler fibers from the dubbing or four or fiber at the top. Get that laid right on top there. And put a nice little dot on top. and hit it with my UV light. Last step, kind of trim everything up. So I trim my tail about the length of the body. And trim my wings. Just past the length of the thorax. Kind of check, make sure that they're even. There you have it, RS3. Super buggy little fly.